<clears throat> Wiggy time on the fly. What's up, everybody here? Sean Miggins alongside myself, Ref Hansen. There's everybody's favorite Boy Scout. <clears throat> my good buddy, Jake Manning. I love this dude in real life and, and, and professionally. One of my all-time favorites. Good dude. Real good dude. Funny. Uh, has the book popped, and I told him gold, uh, Colonel De Beers used to use the book, too. Um, and knows the guys at high spots pretty well. But yeah, great guy. I'll put him over to you. And he always did these shows. This is Northeast Wrestling. There are, there's Fat Ref Hansen. Um, at that time, he was selling all the uh, high spots, wrestling merchandise, and he would always get on the show and wrestle on the show, too. Then he started booking. Who's that? Freight Train. <laughs> Time and Dreamer. Freight Train. Go, boom, 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 boom. You remember Freight Train? Google Freight Train. Pro wrestler of Freight Train. Yeah, we smoking dynamite. Why you always gotta be smoking dynamite? And he'll pop you. Wait, wait, I wanted to put this match up, and um, I don't know. I picked this one at random. I didn't pick this one at random. I looked at it, spotted it, and said, you know what? I want to tell the people some. So there I am standing in the ring because we're waiting for the time for the music to hit. I got real excited to referee for this guy, Ricky Steamboat Jr. Um, first of all, his dad's the greatest babyface of all time. His dad was a fan of mine. Comes out, he's got a lot of spunk, a lot of excitement. Yeah, pretty good. And I'm not nothing. I'm not talking about his wrestling or his physical capabilities. It was at this show. Now, Northeast Wrestling had a show the night before. I was not on it. I actually had a different show that I was on. But anyway, all the guys who I talked to when I showed up here, this was in Washingtonville. Where the hell was this show? Don't tell me I remember that. And now here's the face off. Let me. Where's this stinking show at? Washingtonville, New York. It's in upstate New York where old WWE stomping grounds where they ran. And it was cool to referee for a legend son in the WWF's old stomping grounds. Always, and I'm like, Ricky Steamboat Jr. could become something. He's probably a good guy because if you ever talk to his dad, if you ever meet Ricky Steamboat, chat him up. Freaking love. What a nice man. So I figured that. Anyway, we're in Washingtonville, New York. And uh, I keep saying it because it's got a lot of syllables and I enjoy saying it. And I take Paul London, my dear friend Paul London. London, if you're watching this, I love you, bro. You are just everything a friend should be. You're just a good dude. Never a bad time with you. It's always the greatest time. Every time with you is the greatest time. Um, so the promoter knew that Paul London and I were friends, and he goes, hey, you help me out. Paul London's staying at Newark Airport. I said, of course. It would be my pleasure. I'd love to talk to him more. Anyway, Ricky Steamboat Jr. is also flying out of Newark Airport the next morning. And he goes, hey, would you mind taking him? I said, yeah, sure, of course. No problem. So I get excited here. To, oh, Jake Manning, you vicious, wily veteran heel. Um... And, you know, we get in. Me and Paul London are shooting up old stories. And I ah, bet you thought I was going to say something else. We're talking about all old glory days we had. Ring of Honor, JP, whatever. He was like, bro. Talking about old WWE. And I'm going the wrong way. I picked the wrong way. I just got on the, made the wrong turn. I noticed it in London. That's ah, all right, dude. Turn around. Right I hear bitchy Steamboat Jr. in the back. He's already been pouting because I think he wanted to sleep. But he's like, come on, you don't know what you don't know which way we're going? It, it was multiple times. Anyone could have a bad day or a bad night. Look at the athleticism on this kid. I don't wonder why he didn't make it. I gotta uh investigate why he didn't. Um I got excited because man, he came to the ring at WrestleMania 4, man. He he walked Ricky the Dragon Steamboat down the aisle. Look, Monsoon, he's got cheeks bigger than Bundy. But um I'm all excited to drive this Jamoke home. He's bitching I'm taking the wrong way. Oh, how long is it going to be? I, I don't want to stop to eat. You guys want to stop? No matter what me and London said, he bitched about it. And I think I told London the next time I saw him, I was like, you tell the greatest baby face of all time, his son's a whiny bitch. I said something to that effect. I remember being pissed. I was all excited. Anyway, we were seeing some good wrestling action. I just wanted to tell you people that story. And Ricky Steamboat Jr., you are watching this because I know you Google yourself. And you YouTube yourself. Why were you a whiny bitch that night? Oh, night you and you got good fire. I like it here. You got look. He's got boots. He's got knee pads. He's got trunks. 
He looks like a wrestler. He's got a good body, good colors. Jake Manning tries to throw him to the outside, but Ricky the Dragon Steamboat's got agility. He said, I can catch myself up there. See, I like that spot. This is a good spot here. It doesn't look too song and dancey. Um, you know, like every other match today. Look, bumps well. Ricky Steamboat Jr., so you are watching this match. And personally, you might have been no good son of a bitch. But uh, professionally, you've got some talent. Look at it. He looks good. Maybe you didn't pursue it. That could happen to a lot of guys. You, know, you just stop pursuing it. Uh, Michael Shane is a name I always bring up when it comes to that. Because that friggin' guy should have got a lot more than he got. He is... I just thought he was money. Because he couldn't do the... See, what, so he was in the same class as Daniel Bryan, Paul London, Barb Bryant, Kendrick. And they're always going to get compared to each other. But. Whatever. Remember that Rudy Boy Gonzalez did most of the training. There's another creep. I know his friends, a lot of my friends like him, but whoa. Weird dude. Uh, I'll stop right there about Rudy Boy. And now Jake Manning, see? A lot of action, and now the heel's wearing down the baby face. He's going to make that baby face submit. Boy, we came to a screeching halt there, didn't we? This promotion, Northeast Wrestling, they're still running today. Check them out. Uh, if they ever run a show, you should probably go see it. You can take your family there. Um, it's worth the price of admission. You're going to see great matches. Um, it's not going to be way too long. It's going to be good stuff. Meet and greets, the whole bit. Um... Ooh, my hair was actually nice back then. I didn't have a bald spot. Just sucks and I'm fat. And, oh, they've been on that top rope so long. And a lot of people didn't think I was fat back then. But whenever I met a fan, I would, you know, I wouldn't shake their hand. I would just try to eat their leg. Now, Ricky Steen, but we're going to see some high... Nice job. I wasn't expecting that. I thought that was a high cross. But see, he's got... He's got I mean, I'm sure you can nitpick a couple things. But for total package... Not the best drop kick, but I liked it. Interested to know why Ricky Steamboat Jr. didn't make it. Well, I'm interested to know why Jake Manning didn't make it. Fuck Ricky Steamboat Jr. Jake, look, nice bump, Jakey. Nice. Remember Jake the Snake Manning in this company, the same company, wrestled the boogeyman and he took the worms. Oof. You wouldn't see me doing that shit. And now, what are we going to have here? Oh, I'm calling Danny Doring because someone just stole the Danaconda. No, the G-Spot Sweet. No, no, no. The Panty Drop Elbow. No, 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 no. That's an Abbott and Costello bit that we do. Um, it's like, good Lord, if Stevie Richards never was a professional wrestler, we wouldn't have the Stevie Kick. Jake going for a pile driver? No, not going to work on Steamboat Jr. Hey, one thing you don't do to Steamboat Jr. is go to close. Oh, that was nice. Just looked like it took a little too long. One thing you don't do, try to pile drive him. The other thing you don't do, make the wrong turn out of the building that night. Because he will never forget it. And he'll never stop bitching. You know Ricky Steamboat Jr. I keep saying your whole name. You owe me a beer the next time you see me. I like Miller Lake. Is it one, two? I caught it. Nice. Sweet finish. Nice finish. It almost it looked like it was going to get botched, but no, he hangs on. And excellent work by both of them on that, but the referee's count really made it. So I hope you enjoyed that match. Jake Manning, hope you get to see this. Ricky Steamboat Jr., you too. Hope you get to see this. We'll laugh about this someday. You're probably a good dude. Arriva Dirty and Chow signing off. And uh, peace, love, wrestling, and. Um, Spay and neuter your pets, man. Bob Barker's not on TV anymore. I'm going to do my due diligence. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Let's control that pet population.